respected students welcome back everyone so today is the first video of 2025 so first of all happy new year to all the subscribers and today's video is about the top 5 toughest and tricky questions which i ask in the interview i have taken more than 100 so of candidates real time interviews so whatever some of the few questions which i ask that i am going to tell you those are the toughest and trickiest also if you will see the first question question only then only you will understand how trickiest question i ask for me the concepts are very important rather than just memorizing the answers and uh, understanding what is there so concepts are very important for me so like that i ask a uh, question so total five questions i am going to ask okay so now let's start with the video so if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribing and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram all the links are given in the description box so now see in my mobile i have written all the five questions so the first toughest and trickiest question which i ask in the interview it is related to power query and the question is about the merge and append okay so the question which i ask to check the understanding is that like we all have went in the school okay school i am saying in school classroom was there and on in the classroom there was bench okay so on that bench let's say if you are there you are sitting on right hand side and your best friend is sitting on the left hand side theek okay? hai on the bench in a, in classroom whatever bench is there there on that single bench two people can sit on right hand side you are sitting and on left hand side your best friend is sitting so what it is whether it is merge or append this question i ask in the interview okay to see the understanding about the merge and append now let me tell you one answer of this the answer of this is uh, merge is the answer the reason is because when we do merge that time two tables go left right hand side on the single merge on the single key let's say agent id is there okay and if your same friend is sitting on your shoulders then in that case what it is there again i ask this question for that answer append will be there because for append like this two tables are going to append or combine okay so on single bench if two people are sitting that is not append that will be merge okay so answer for that question is merge okay and when the candidate is giving right answer for that then i ask that if that friend is sitting on your shoulder then what it will be then if the candidate is answering append from this i can understand whether that candidate is having proper understanding about merge or append because the reason i am telling because everyone there are many candidates who memorize it and answer uh, that question but for proper understanding we have to check whether uh, the reason i ask this toughest and trickiest question the second question is like see i have already uh, written the post on this question but the reason why i ask you uh, i ask this question in the interview to understand the uh, understanding about schedule refresh so now let's say import mode you are using in your report project okay so yesterday your schedule refresh took 15 minutes 15 15 minutes and today it took 30 minutes 30 okay your gateway connection is strong your credential is strong your pro account is active your internet connection is strong everything no technical problem no technical problem everything is fine okay but your schedule refresh took 15 minutes yesterday and today it took 30 minutes what's the reason for that now again i will give you one example the reason before telling the reason i will give you example let's say we all are fitness freak we all have went to gym okay or something else related to calisthenics or whatever yoga surya namaskar everything so let's say you went to the gym okay in gym you took the dumbbell of 10 kg and with the 10 kg you did 20 repetition like this if set is there any okay let's say if any set is there like this set is there so with 10 kg dumbbell you did 20 repetitions today and tomorrow you took 25 kg dumbbell 2.5x how many repetitions you are going to do 5 6 7 8 10 max but not more than 20 with 10 kg you did 20 repetition but with 25 kg dumbbell you will do 5 to 10 repetition why because the weight has increased same way the schedule refresh yesterday it if it took 10 minutes and today it is taking 
extra time 30 minutes let's say and if everything is internet connection gateway everything is fine then the reason is because in scheduled refresh what happens the new row comes new data comes so yesterday let's say only 10,000 rows ads came new but today around 30 40,000 more 3x 4x extra 30 40,000 rows have inserted in the power bi report the more data have came that's the reason why today's scheduled refresh took more time to refresh okay that's the main reason and this gym and dumbbell example i have given to understand the concept okay uh, see uh, one more thing just a reminder that uh, i have now launched my top mate page and you can connect with me one on one there are four services which i am providing of power bi sql mock interview career guidance interview preparation tips whatever you can check uh, this top mate page in description below you will find that so you can book one on one call as per my availability now third question this is the most toughest question what i personally think but those who have done real time work they can visualize and understand one page is there fine okay uh, on that page 15 visuals are there one five 15 visuals are there except slicer remove slicers remove that filter slicers except that one uh, except that slicers 15 one five 15 visuals are there there is no vertical scroller on page okay there is no vertical scroller with vertical scroller you know that you can scroll the page down no whatever power bi when you are opening that on first uh, click whatever that page is there that custom page size that much is only there okay 15 visuals are there except slicer no vertical scroller is there and now next no bookmark is also used okay no vertical scroller no bookmark with bookmark what you understand that two visuals like this you can keep uh, one on one it and then you can add bookmark and then show hide is there from that you can do but here no bookmark is used no vertical scroller is used nothing is used but on one single page 15 one five 15 visuals are used which is the visual which is most time it is used i will tell you one visual is there which is seven to eight times it is used so now which visual it will be so here the reason why i understand your visualization uh, expertise or how you are able to visualize the thing in power bi that's the reason why i asked this question so the answer for this question the visual which is used seven to eight times out of 15 is card visual see in real time project the first trip which is there that is of card visual seven to eight so now eight visual eight time cards is used now seven times you can add bar chart is there uh, cluster column and all those pie chart uh, donut chart tree map all those things so like this it will be inserted the reason why i ask this question is to understand your visualization expertise fourth question asks, see fourth question is uh, i can guarantee you that this you will never get on internet nothing that is my personal experience and three four times i have handled that and with import mode only i have handled that okay now let's see ki, uh, yesterday or morning today schedule refresh happen everything is fine okay new data has been inserted when you want power bi service with embedded link when you are checking the power bi report everything is fine there new new date which is there today's data which is there that is that has also been updated means if today's date is uh, i guess 4th of january so if today you are using let's say uh, till 3rd of january in real time project you know t minus 1 is there so if you are checking on 4th of January, uh, till yesterday the data will be updated T minus 1. Okay, everything is fine. So you have seen that the schedule refresh was successful when you are checking that report uh, in Power BI service embedded link, their updated data is showing. But now as a Power BI developer, you started working at 9 a.m. after your daily stand-up call. You downloaded the latest file from Power BI service to work. But there what you have seen, that schedule refresh was successful on power bi service everything is fine but in your power bi uh, pbix file the data is the latest data is not showing i will tell you what's the reason for that the reason is that there is some technical error is there and this clutch cluster clutchy thing happens in power bi many times it happens okay again i am repeating schedule refresh was successful in pbi service uh, embedded link file the new data everything is showing in pbi service and embedded link online 
but when you are downloading the pbx file there you are not able to see that updated data and why it is happening due to technical error but my question is as a power bi developer what is the first thing you will do here now okay as a power bi developer again i am repeating i am telling the reason due to some technical error it happens but as a power bi developer what will be the first thing you will do here so the first thing what you will do you can pause the video and you can think also what might be the answer and afterwards you can uh, again resume the video and uh, check the answer for it the reason why, uh, the first thing what you will do in a you will refresh it from power query and from power bi desktop also from both the things uh, from both the parts you will refresh your whole data the reason is if you will not refresh and use the same pbx file which is not having the updated data and by mistakenly after doing work if you publish it then the pbx service file will show the old data only and if client will check that then he will tell that i am not able to see the latest data into that that might be the mistake okay so this thing you have to check with the first thing what you will do if your pbx file is not showing updated data you will refresh that data from power query also the reason from see many people what they do only in power bi desktop the tables or that upper above option is there they refresh it no from power query also you have to refresh all because the source or whatever we have fetched the data from power query only this is the fourth question the fifth question is uh, tell us chronologically the things you will consider five things you will consider before developing a power bi report so see the five things which you will consider before developing a power bi report or before starting with the the first report of the project is that first thing see the reason why i, I asked this question is to understand the agile or project management what is your understanding about project management see as a power bi developer little bit 20% 30% of sprint agile jira project management dev prod everything you should understand okay uh requirement gathering everything so the five things chronologically what you will consider the first thing is that the problem statement of the project and report why client want to create this report and what they are going to achieve after uh checking or taking this report or when they will uh, when we will publish it live the first thing is problem statement the second thing is thing is requirement gathering okay the requirement gathering of project like what requirements uh, exactly they want or uh, when we will create the brds and the kpi sheet logic and everything whatever second thing is requirement gathering the third thing is data assessment data profiling data mapping everything related to data okay data availability everything we are going to understand about data then for four thing whatever the etl and everything is required in power query or in azure data bricks like etl pipelines and all those things or in sql view and everything okay the fourth thing and the fifth thing which is there when we will face the data then create the modeling in power bi and the modeling i am telling you 99.99% the modeling must be perfect if modeling is wrong there is no point in going ahead because whatever your data will be show it will show wrong only so the five things chronologically which are required before uh, developing a power bi report or any bi report is first thing a problem statement why the client wants the report or what they are going to achieve after uh, we will productionize the report second thing is requirement gathering third thing is related to data availability mapping profiling everything the fourth thing is developing or creating etl pipelines view store procedure everything and the last thing is creating a proper data model okay and then afterwards after that you can start creating a bi report theek hai so these were the five questions which i asked in the first and second round to understand uh, candidates data analytics understanding or bi understanding okay so thanks for watching till end everyone this was the first video of our 2025 and if you like the video make sure you are liking and pressing bell icon uh, liking the video and sharing with your friend and subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos thanks everyone for